those who aspire to become farmers will soon have an easier way to engage in agribusiness through the help of mobile phone technology. So the app is localized for different countries. In Africa, we call it Ustavi. In Sri Lanka, it's Govinana, and India is Gan Kisan. Basically, farmers can ask what crops will grow in my farm. We take the uh, geolocations, map it to agroecological zones, and based on that, we work with the various agriculture universities and create a large knowledge base of various crops available. This initiative was first launched in India, where the results have proven fruitful. Actually, gone up to about 7,000 farmers using it right now, and today I got that numbers have gone up. So we have got models to go to the farmers and also you uh, work with the young entrepreneurial farmers, training them to work with the elderly farmers as change agents. The Ustawi mobile app provides farmers with information on crops, seeds, soil, livestock, agrochemicals, weather updates, and market prices, presented in different user-friendly formats such as graphics, chat, maps, which people can choose from depending on what they want to do with the data. Kenyan households that are exclusively engaged in agriculture contributed 31.4% to the reduction of rural poverty and agriculture remains the largest income source for both poor and non-poor households in rural areas, according to the latest World Bank economic analysis. What is special about the app for Africa is we are also looking at the dietary diversification required. So people in the cities can do a survey to look at what gaps exist in their dietary diversification. And we aggregate that and make that available to the farmers who are growing it to say, look, there is a demand for this type of crop because people are now aware of the need for it. Kenya is expected to take the lead among other developing nations with this opportunity to make agricultural data accessible to the public. With the development of agriculture and technology, this will make agriculture more prevalent within the urban centers and spread out through the rural areas. Fiona Shuru reporting for Channel One Business News.